It has been said that we are deeply connected by an invisible field that unites us all. The mystics have known about it for millennia. Scientists are on the cusp of proving its existence. The first to hypothesize about this field was a little-known physicist named David Bohm. Some source of uh, new ideas is needed of a much higher energy. Einstein referred to him as his spiritual son, and the Dalai Lama relied on Bohm to be his science guru. But the scientific orthodoxy worked hard to suppress his radical ideas. Raised during the Great Depression in a Pennsylvania coal mining town, his childhood was hard. Yet Bohm possessed a rare and maverick intelligence that got the attention of the greatest minds in science. Bohm then began to explore a revolutionary idea. The Bohmian theory made a clear prediction about the non-locality of the world. What is non-locality? Non-locality is really, to put it in simple words, the profound discovery of the interconnectedness of the universe. But Bohm's progressive ideas were a threat to the scientific and political establishment at a time when they were focused on one thing alone. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. It was decades before we developed sufficient computing power to simulate Bohm's mathematics, describing this quantum potential that underlies the known universe. We were quite staggered how amazing this story was, which had never been told. Today, scientists are devising experiments to prove the existence of the quantum potential. The work of people like Bohm, Einstein, they are like huge windows opening in the imagination to, to a way of dealing with life and the things we encounter within it. David Bohm, I think really something like opener of our mind. So grateful.